Hey, this is um, Mr. Holding just looking at uh, calculating force using equations. So, if we look at the basic equation, we should know that calculating force is force equals mass times acceleration, or force equals ma. All right, and with that, force F equals force, and we measure that in newtons. Our m stands for our mass. And of course, our mass, remember, is uh, measured in kilograms. And our acceleration, or A, is acceleration. Okay, and we talk about that being in meters per second squared, or meters per second per second, which is the same thing. So meters per second squared is the same as meters per second per second. So looking at this example here, we've got um, the, the question is calculate the force produced by an 80 kilo footballer accelerating at eight, 8 meters per second. So we see that the question asks us to get force, so we need to make force the subject, which is handy because that's the equation. So you end up with force equals mass times acceleration. So then we just, all we need to do is identify the different variables here. So we know that force is what we're looking for, okay, so we need to find M and A. So Mass equals, okay, so it's an 80 kilogram footballer, so mass is 80 kilograms. And then acceleration here, we want to get the other one. So acceleration equals 8 meters per second squared. Now, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is make sure you do this process. A lot of people leave, leave this and leave this out and go straight into the calculation. And that's all good and well when you get it right, but when things are more complex, you need to make sure that you take your time. Now, doing this for the simple things means you're going to do it for the more complex things, and hopefully that's going to help you have more success. But now we've got it, we can actually go and input these values into our equation. So force equals MA, which is 80 kilograms times 8 meters per second squared. All right. So therefore, um, 8, 8, 8 is 64, out of 0, and we end up with 640. Now, what are the, if we have a look at the units, what, are, what is force measured in? Force is measured in newtons. All right, so we end up with a force produced of 640 newtons. Now, um, how does newtons relate to kilograms and meters per second squared? Well, essentially, one newton is one kilogram per meter per second squared. Right, and that's how it works. Okay, so have a look through this again, watch this video as much as you can, um, and have a go at the calculations that you're going to do.